Next the question is let a1 a2 a3 a21 be the 21 vertices of a regular polygon 21 sides inscribed in a circle with center o so we have this circle with center o and then we have these 21 vertices inscribed so it is a1 a2 a3 up to a21 and they are all vertices of a regular polygon now triangles are formed by joining vertices of this regular polygon now total number of triangles that can be formed it is given by 21 c3 and 21 c3 is 21 into 20 into 90 divided by 3 into 2 now this is 7 and this is 10 So it will be one three three zero. So total number of triangles that can be formed is one three three zero. Now we need to find the probability that chosen triangle is equilateral triangle. So this first question is that the chosen triangle is an equilateral triangle. Now it will be an equilateral triangle if number of vertices between the three chosen vertices. is same so that means in that case x1 must be equal to x2 and it must be equal to x3 now sum of all x1 x2 x3 will be 21 minus 3 18 and since it is 3 x1 so each of x i it must be 6 so we have this combination like a1 a8 A15. I will go all the way from A1 to A7, A7, A14, and A21. So all together we have seven cases in which an equilateral triangle is formed. So this required probability will be seven upon one three three zero, which is basically one by one nine zero, and that's your option C. Now we know that angle in a semicircle is ninety degrees. So if there is a right angle triangle, then one of the side must be diameter of this circle. But since we have twenty one vertices, that means if we choose any one vertex opposite to A one, there won't be any vertex. So there will be vertices on the either side of it. In this case, it is not possible to choose a Right angle triangle. So probability of choosing a right angle triangle will be simply zero. Now we have to find the probability that chosen triangle is an acute angle triangle. Now what we'll do is we'll actually calculate an obtuse angle triangle, and we'll find how many obtuse angle triangles are possible. Now if we choose one vertex, say A one, then there'll be ten vertices here and ten vertices here. Now, number of obtuse angle triangle that can be formed having one of the vertices with A one, it will be two into ten C two, which is ninety. Now we have twenty one such vertices. So total number of obtuse angle triangles that can be formed will be twenty one into ninety. Divided by two. Why divided by two? Because if we have one case where we have suppose a one, a two, and a seven, then if we consider a seven, there also we'll have this case when we'll have a one, a two, and a seven. With a two, it is not possible because for a two, a one, and a seven, they lie on the opposite side. So therefore, we have to divide it by two. So it will be this twenty one into forty five, which is Nine hundred forty-five. So now we can find number of acute angle triangles. So number of acute angle triangles will be one three three zero minus nine forty-five. It will be simply three eighty-five. So this. The required probability that this triangle is acute will be given by three eighty five upon one three three zero, which is eleven by thirty eight, 
and that's your option A. So the correct options are C, D and A and that is the answer to this question.